the day that this video was originally published is Thursday, May 13th, 2021. Can anyone tell me what special day in the church here is today? It's not one that gets the same amount of attention as a Christmas or Easter or even Pentecost, but is extremely important in the life of Jesus and in your life as well. What day is it? Keep watching to find out. Hey there, St. Paul families and whoever else happens to be watching, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. This is also the day of ascension here in 2021, the day in which we celebrate when Jesus bodily ascended to the right hand of God in heaven as the disciples looked on and Jesus was taken out of their sight and a cloud covered him but not before Jesus promised the sending of the Holy Spirit. Psalm 47 is the psalm assigned for the readings for the day of ascension, and so it is our psalm that we're going to concentrate on as well. So go ahead and pause this video, look up Psalm 47, and read it right now. Power. Everybody wants it to some degree. People will go to great lengths to either obtain it or to keep it for themselves. That's the, the whole premise behind the, the books and the TV series, The Game of Thrones, if you've read or watched any of that. The story uh, depicts the thirst for power and the lengths people will go in order to sit on the throne as ruler. But you may be surprised to learn that there are parts of the Old Testament that are just as brutal, just as violent as Game of Thrones is when it depicts the, the quest for power. Whether you look at just Israel's history and, and the kings that came about and, and how people wanted to be king, or whether you just look at the, the whole of human history uh, and how we uh, have always been a violent and bloodthirsty people searching, pursuing power at all costs, no matter who might get in the way. But Psalm 47 reminds us that there is only one true king, and that is our word of the day from Psalm 47, king. Let me read verses 2 and 3 again. For the Lord the Most High is to be feared a great king over all the earth. He subdued peoples under us and nations under our feet. The ascension of Jesus, first of all, reminds us that Jesus is the king who came to earth to save us. Yes, Jesus came to earth in order to save us from our uh, relentless pursuit of power that, that only ends in, in sadness and despair and death. Jesus came to this earth and won the Game of Thrones. How did he do it? Well, by giving up his power. By, by refusing violence. By being a king who serves and suffers. A king who is crowned with thorns. A king who allows the powers of this world to subdue and to kill him. But through his resurrection from the dead, Jesus proves his greater power and is now victorious over all evil, all sin, and all death. And Jesus' ascension to the right hand of the throne of God is his coronation ceremony as the one true king of the world. As it says in Ephesians chapter 1, God raised Jesus from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly places, far above all rule and authority and power and dominion. By his ascension, Jesus is not only seated on the right hand of the throne of God the Father, but he promises to rule the world on your behalf and for your good. 
because he cares about you and he loves you and he died to save you. And he also promises to be present with you always and to give you the power of his Holy Spirit whom you have. Sing praises to God. Sing praises. Sing praises to our King. Sing praises. For Jesus is King of all the earth. Sing praises with a song. For our time of reflection, I want you to consider this question and do some some self-examination and confession if you need to as well. Who is winning the game of thrones in your heart? Go ahead and consider that question. Answer it honestly. And then please pray with me. Dear Jesus, King of the universe, I do not always acknowledge you as my king. That's evidenced by my thoughts, words, and actions. I want to have control. I want to have power. And yet you are a gracious and merciful king. So have mercy on me and rule my heart so that I would imitate you by serving others. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Our song of the day is sung by Jason Silver. It's his version of Psalm 47, which he calls Clap Your Hands. And I've included a link below this video uh, for you to click on and to enjoy that song today. Until next time, God's grace and peace be with you all.